Around the coast of the UK, there are over 300 telecoms and power cables. These cables provide communications and power links to the rest of the world, and with over 50,000 kilometers of cables in the water surrounding the UK, they may be encountered in all the major sea areas and have the potential to be extremely dangerous to fishing. This vessel is fishing with scallop gear. The vessel is working seven dredges from each beam, which are towed along the seabed. There are tines at the front of each dredge to flip the scallops out of the seabed and into a collecting bag behind it. This type of fishing can be particularly damaging to subsea cables, and there is also an increased risk with this type of gear to the vessel becoming snagged on a cable. This scenario has contributed to fishing vessels losing their gear, or in some cases, capsizing and sinking with a loss of life. At the time of installation, burial of cables into the seabed is attempted. However, if the seabed is very hard, there may be a danger that sections of cable remain unburied and are laid on the surface of the seabed. If a cable does get damaged, it will be recovered to the surface for repair. Following the repair, by adding and splicing in a new segment of cable, a large section of slack will be laid back to the seabed. This will be at a 90 degree angle and may extend at least one and a half times the water depth away from the original cable route. In deeper waters, this may be a distance of more than 1,500 meters. With very mobile seabeds, cables may become exposed due to the scouring effects of tides and currents. In this situation, sections of cable may be laying on the seabed or spanning hollows, forming cable spans. Exposed sections of cable are vulnerable to damage from fishing gear. They also present a significant hazard to fishing due to their unknown length and location, increasing the risk of snagging. The varied and rapidly changing seabed around the UK makes it almost impossible to accurately chart all exposed sections of cable. Caution should be exercised if fishing in the vicinity of subsea cables. By working closely with the fishing industry, offshore operators, trade bodies and other stakeholders, Kingfisher work to provide information alerting fishermen to potentially hazardous structures and activities. For more information, please contact Kingfisher or visit the websites shown on screen.